I had a pretty awesome wow moment as I walked up to the docks earlier to test the 2019 Princecraft 172 Sport. And my wow moment came from how beautifully the exterior of the boat matched up perfectly to the interior of the boat. I can't wait to get on with this test. For BoatDealers.ca, this is Rick Lazell. One of the very first things I noticed was the color on the exterior of the boat, the, how perfectly the, the graphics blended with the rest of the boat, but more importantly, how Princecraft took that urethane paint, the gray urethane on the outside, and they brought it right up over the top of the gunnel, really bringing the boat package together. And the 172 Sport, this fish model from Princecraft, They've given us the ability, our test boat includes these optional bow filler cushions. And you know, if we're gonna take the kids out on the boat with us for the day, they're gonna wanna sit up in the bow. We got a couple of nice, great, uh, good sized grab handles for them there. A cup holder up in the forward section. More importantly, they're gonna be comfortable sitting up there, even with a couple of padded backrests. On the 172 Sport, has all that you need. We've got a built-in seat base here ready for you. We've got a nice big self-draining ice chest on the starboard side of the boat. As you move over to the port side of the boat, we've got a 30 inch, 30 inch long, very deep aerated electric filled live well here. Very big, big space. And finally in the center section, we find another storage compartment. This one with the built-in battery trays to hold two deep cycle batteries. In the center floor, we find a nice big rod locker here. You notice we got a couple of vents on either side of the uh, storage compartment. The one side lockable, nice the way it should be. We can fit four seven foot rods in here. Measured this out a little bit earlier. Actually got about seven and a half feet overall. But you can certainly get your seven footers in there all day long. A Little bit of extra storage for some tackle and gear down below as well. The rear flip-up bench on this 172 Sport has been completely redesigned for 2019. And I like the accent treatment of the Princecraft logo with the red and black treatment through it. Simply fold the three seats down, nice and easy to use. By the way, super generous. I'm a pretty big guy and I fit it right in there perfectly. Grab onto either of the grab handles and notice the, the uh, brackets that are sitting on either side of the boat. And that deck sits right on top of there perfectly. I'm a big guy and I can stand up on here. There's no flex, there's no give, there's no bend in this at all. You can tell the quality of construction that's gone into this design. Giant rear casting deck, absolutely huge once we put that seat down. And let me tell you, we look at all the uh, options we've got back in here. We've got a huge storage compartment, certainly fit a couple of life jackets, a bunch of our fishing gear. In the center here, a 34 inch wide, 64 liter electric filled aerated live well. We've got a base to put a seat up here on the casting deck. The ski pylon base, the optional ski pylon base here in the center of the boat if we want to take the kids tubing. And finally over on the starboard side, there's our battery compartment with the switch for it. If there's one word I got to use for the helm of the Sport 172, it's functional. There's nothing overly excessively fancy here, but everything functions well. The windshield, you know, our temperatures are actually pretty cool today. The windshield really worked well in the cool temperatures. The Hook 7 from Lowrance, nice, nice craft, easy to understand. We've got basic couple of analog gauges here, our speedo, our tack, and our fuel gauge. Some toggle switches for all the basic accessories and systems in the boat. I've got, I'm a six foot one, 220 pound guy. There's lots of room around here. The steering wheel itself, leather wrapped and nice and comfortable. I'm at the right height for the control box. It is a very functional, user-friendly helm station.
I noticed on both the port and starboard side of the boat, you can see how they've brought the edge of the, uh, the interior of the boat up a little bit above this tray compartment. That's because they've got a stra handy little strap here. You could easily fit a couple of rods in here, slide them up, the length of them up underneath the dashboard, and then just clip that into that mounted setup there. Super nice and easy to use. From the moment I laid eyes on this boat as we walked up to the docks earlier, I really was taken aback by what a great job the color work has been done with the exterior, the urethane paint wrapped up to the gunnels. And then I got into the interior, I saw the new flip up seat in the back and then laid that down into that huge casting deck. Everything about this boat screams family, but it screams fishing and it screams great moments on the water. And for a guy like me that's a fairly big dude sitting at the helm, lots of room and spacious, and I want a sporty feel to it. The Sport 172 from Princecraft answers all of those calls. For BoatDealers.ca, this is Rick Lazell.